I'm back. Uh, now it's time to uh, take out the new rotary dial. So we're going to put this into it and we're going to line up these two tabs that we had before. That, that one tab here, one tab there with the cutouts, the large cutouts in the rotary dial. So we have to aim it so it comes into the right part of the rotary knob. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks good. And we press all the way in. Let's see, it should go all the way in here. Yeah, so the tab is in the right place there. And now we need to lock the two pieces together by turning now the new trim ring counterclockwise. Let's see if that's okay. I'm going to use the plier here to, to make it work a little easier. So get a grip here somewhere. And then we twist. Yep. Yep, that worked. So now the locking tab is to the left here. And same here. To the left here. So this is now safely locked together. Oh, that was quite a... <laughs> Quite an ordeal. All right, so we go to the next step now. We are going to use a small screwdriver to remove this uh, steel plate. Like that, put that over there for now. And now we're going to insert from this side the uh, black part into the rotary knob and I press down until it snaps into place. Press straight in. You may need to use some force here. Mm -hmm. See here. Just to go straight in. It's wiggling back and forth here. No. It doesn't want to go here. I'll stop the video now and check what's wrong. <laughs> 